What is up guys, Richard Cactholomew here. Thank you so much for stopping by. And today, I gotta be honest with you guys, I was wrong. I did not realize the sheer magnificence, the sheer power that is the trusty legendary scout rifle. A new scout rifle added into Destiny 2 with Beyond Light. That's gonna be the focus of today's video. You absolutely need to know about this weapon and some interesting rules that I think a lot of people are overlooking. And so, let's get started. But just before we do, guys, a huge amount of people who watch this channel aren't yet subscribed. Take a quick second, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell to be notified of everything Destiny 2, especially because we are so close to that 1 million subscriber mark. Absolutely insane. So, let's talk about the trustee. This weapon is acquirable in the Deepstone Crypt raid from the first encounter, and thankfully, because of the cache of the crypt system at the end of the raid you can once you've gotten this weapon once spend your spoils of war to keep farming this weapon over and over again guarantee that you get at least one drop every single time you do a deep stone crypt raid so getting the god roll on this weapon is more achievable than really any other raid weapon in destiny 2 history but what exactly do I mean when I say I was wrong about it? Well, I did do a video ranking all of the different Deepstone Crypt raid weapons, going over their PvE and PvP god rolls. I still think that's a fantastic video, literally six whole god roll videos in one, but I had the trusty ranked last. And looking back, that was a mistake. It should definitely be in front of the sword and could arguably be in front of the sniper too, which is insane because the sniper is god tier. That shows you just how powerful the Deep Stone Crypt raid weapons are. I mean, even the sword, a lot of people who were arguing in the comments without watching the video, of course, didn't realize like the sword just does more damage than literally any other sword in its archetype. It's arc, so it works with Mask of Bacris. It can outburst DPS the Lament. Like, it, it's incredible, but that's also kind of showing how good the trusty is. This is meta shifting. This is finally a scout rifle that is going to start to see a significant amount of PvP play. So what is so good about it? Well, let's take a look at my best roll. Firstly, it's a rapid fire frame scout, which means it automatically has full auto. That is incredibly useful. Full auto is a perk I tend to enjoy on scout rifles regardless. It removes human error. It makes you get the optimal time to kill every single time. It just makes the gun so much more user friendly. The fact that this gets it as like an automatic third perk is really, really powerful. Now, in the first perk slot, really importantly, we have Surplus, and I think this is potentially best in slot for the trustee, and this is a perk that is being criminally overlooked, including a little bit by myself, because 90% of the time, Surplus isn't that good. It reads, increases handling, reload speed, and stability for each fully charged ability. Well, obviously, most of the time, you're utilizing your abilities. Like, why wouldn't you be throwing your grenade? Why wouldn't you be using your melee? And surplus on, again, 90% of other weapons is just okay. If you're using a shotgun, you're often rushing in with a shotgun after you've thrown a grenade. What do you do if you don't get that one-shot shotgun kill? You melee as soon as you shoot your shotgun, right? So that wastes your melee as well. So surplus on most guns, because you're just naturally utilizing your abilities as much as possible, it's not that good of a perk. But on scout rifles, that is like the one gun type where you're purposely hanging back, you're purposely trying to lane people, and you're purposely trying to get into just primary gunfights as often as possible. And so when you're playing correctly with a scout, you are not spamming your melee all the time. You are not yeeting grenades across the entire map. Yeah, you'll utilize an ability or two every once in a while, but your ability usage with a scout rifle is significantly lower, so you really get a huge advantage from it. I mean, check out this wall test. 
Firstly, I'm shooting it with all of my abilities recharged, and as you can see, this thing is very accurate. I then use my melee, shoot again, a little bit less accurate, has more of a degree of vertical recoil, but still very controllable. Use another ability, then it starts to wobble side to side, definitely more, and I use my last ability, and as you can see, like how far we've gone from all abilities recharged to the normal no abilities recharged is pretty substantial. And I think that's another reason why people may not be falling in love with the trustee is they don't have a surplus role and this thing does bounce around a decent amount without it. It's still pretty controllable, but surplus means that you don't need God tier stability in terms of a barrel and in terms of, you know, another perk. You can just run surplus and get that insane stability bonus to really consistently be landing your shots. Now in the second perk slot, I have one of two possible god tier perks. I have high impact reserves. Rounds at the end of the magazine deal more damage. So with the trustee, once you get down to that last part of the magazine, you are capable of, with the increase of damage, four tapping people. Normally this is a five shot kill. So going to four shots is going to make the time to kill of this weapon insane. Like it is a melt machine when you can four tap. And so that is so powerful. You'll actually see people with this weapon in the crucible shooting at walls just to get to the last part of their magazine so they can basically guarantee they win their next gunfight. Now, personally, I don't feel like that's the best approach, at least in what I'm playing, which is Iron Banner in the background, because part of the benefit of the trustee is the fact that it has a very good 17 round magazine uh, naturally, which can take on multiple guys with a single magazine. So if you waste the first half, you negate that benefit. But if you're playing Trials of Osiris and it's a 1v1, it might not be the best idea to give you that best chance to win that gunfight with that insane TTK because of high impact reserves. However, I think the other potential god role of this weapon would be surplus plus Wellspring. Wellspring being the new perk that gives you ability energy back for whatever abilities you have that are recharging. So again, that is just an absolute wombo combo with surplus. You get the benefits of surplus more often, and when you do use your abilities, you get them back faster to activate, you know, the surplus mega bonus faster. But lastly, there's one additional benefit to using the trustee and it's a hidden one. It's just the state of the meta. When's the last time a scout rifle has been this good? Not in arguably years. So people are just not used to getting shot by scout rifles. You'll see me in the background gameplay absolutely clowning on kids that are trying to duel me with hand cannons and a whole other assortment of things. So you'll find that all the time in gunfights when you're using the trustee, you're at an optimal scout rifle range. You're doing your max damage. The guy you're fighting is not, and he has an ace of spades or something. He will still try to fight you because he's so used to engaging people at those ranges with these other weapons. He's not used to you having a scout rifle that is meant to be at that range. And that is actually a huge benefit. Like people are not disengaging and getting out of there when they really should. So if you can get your hands on the trustee, I would absolutely recommend trying it out in the crucible. But note, part of the reason the trustee is good right now is because scout rifles as a whole got an aim assistance buff. It's easier to be hitting those headshots with scouts nowadays. And the trusty and the rapid fire frame archetype, I feel like are in the best position to gain those benefits. So if another rapid fire comes along in a future season, that's something else you really need to be paying attention to. And so guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed, found this informative. And if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.